here at home with elections less than a month away, we want to make sure you are prepared for the big day. Your voice, your vote is important. I sat down with West Virginia Secretary of State Mac Warner asking how West Virginians can feel secure that their vote will count and the results can be trusted. Plus, what the steps are to make sure you're registered to vote. Here's what he had to say. But I can tell you from West Virginia's perspective, okay, we have got free, fair, clean elections. The equipment is great. I work with not only the county clerks, but also at the national level. I work with other secretaries of state. I have routine meetings and phone calls and Zoom calls with the Department of Homeland Security. There's an agency called CISA, the Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency, who's responsible for oversight of the elections. And they're the ones keeping track of Russia, Iran, China, that okay. sort of hacking. They have put out that there is increased efforts to try to hack into our elections. We saw it in 2016, 2020, but they're on top of it. So even though there are increased efforts to attack, we know what to watch for, we're on top of it, we're keeping it out. And just last week they put out a notice that says, we're seeing increased activity, but there is no reason to think that anybody's actually penetrating our election systems, change, and certainly no changing of votes. We, we don't have one case anywhere of a vote being changed uh, electronically. And so uh, I can assure the people of West Virginia that their elections are secure. We want to make it as easy as possible for people to vote and really hard to cheat. Right. So what about people that don't even know if they are registered to vote? How do they get registered? Like, what's the process to make sure that they are good to go on Election Day? Well, now let's get down to the nuts and bolts. Yes. GoVoteWV.com. That's okay. the website. Everything related to elections is on that site. GoVoteWV.com. So they can go on there and they can look up their own individual registration. They can see whether they're registered. And let's say they want to change parties now. Let's say they've gotten married and changed the name. Let's say they have a new address. Mm -hmm. You can do that all online right now. So it's okay. user friendly 24 seven. You can get on there and change your registration and it'll go to the county clerk, the appropriate county clerk, and they will then update your registration. Now we are up against the deadline, October 18th. October 18th. That's the first deadline we okay. need to talk about. So that's just a few days from now, okay? Mm -hmm on Tuesday, and that's the last day to change your registration or to enter a new, a new registration. Uh, now, what about if you actually arrive the day of and you're turned away? So something isn't matching up. What should someone do in that case? What would no, happen? Nobody should be turned away. You should be able to vote okay. no matter where you go. Now, it may not be the right precinct, and so they will uh, give you a provisional ballot. Okay. So nobody should get turned away from a polling location. Like I said, you'll be given a provisional ballot. What that means is the ballot won't be counted on that election day. What happens is six days later is canvassing. That's when they review those provisional ballots or absentee ballots that have come in after the fact. And the county commissioner, the board of canvassers, decides whether those votes count or not and so on. So, but that's the importance of checking your registration ahead of time right now. Right. So I'm glad you're asking about this to let people know if you have any question at all, go to that govotewv.com and there's been a couple of changes here now. We lost a, con a congressional member uh, due to the census. Uh, the census data was late getting to us, so the clerks had a real scramble there before the primary, but we've now worked through that. And what that means is you may have been uh, moved to a new precinct. We had to redraw those lines. Mm -hmm. We went from 67 multi-member districts to 100 single-member districts in the House of Delegates here in West Virginia. So all those lines had, had to be redrawn. And what that may mean for you as a voter, that you may be voting in a new location. If you are, the clerk will send you a postcard. You, and that should have happened during the primary. Uh, but again, you can check all that at the website, govotewv.com, and it will drop a pin on a map and show you where your house where is, you, where you vote. Where you're supposed to go. I can't emphasize enough that website. We've put a lot of effort into making that user friendly. Okay. It's like the one thing that you want um, all of our residents out there, all of our West Virginians to kind of remember. I want people to vote. I want them to participate. The more people that participate, then the higher confidence we have in the elected officials, the higher confidence we have in the government. And the more people that participate, just we all have that civic engagement and involvement. And so there's a lot of complaining right now that America's divided, left and right and so right. forth. Don't complain if you don't go vote. So, so go vote. Warner also stressed the importance of going to GoVoteWV.com to look at the sample ballots online ahead of time to review the four amendments that are up for vote. He also shared the Say Something, Text Something process where you can text WV to 45995 if you feel intimidated at the polls or if you want to report misinformation, voting machine issues, or extremely long wait times. 
Finally, some important dates for you to know. October 18th is the last day to register to vote. You must request an absentee ballot by November the 2nd. Early voting is October the 26th through November the 5th. And to watch the full interview conversation with Secretary of State Mac Warner, you can visit our YouTube channel and search for WOAY TV.